Hello, so I'm going to start this video now with uh, applying colour to the painting. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're going to be working with the big two, colour and value. Uh, two of the big three here. And uh, we're going to try, our, our main aim in this year's session is to kill the white. We want the white completely away. We just want the colours that we see down or something close to them. You know, I would always go by a rule that if you're even 70% accurate in your colours, you're not too far away, you can always correct later on. So the main exercise in this today is to get this, all the color uh, on and the white killed. That's the main aim today. So you can see already there's a wee bit of, a, a, of blue I've already put in the sky there. Uh, I'm just going to actually just show you here now. When we analyze the sky, what is the sky? The sky is one of two blues. We only work with two blues, so it's either the green blue or the purple blue, or a mix of both. When I look at this sky, I know it seems a bit blurry here from the tablet image, but the sky is a mix between uh, between the, the green blue and the purple blue. And what I've done here is put a wee bit of each out and a bit of oil. It's actually this like one I've put out here now. Um, we're straight on. So blue, green blue and purple blue, but a mix and what we're doing is we're painting the furthest away first. first. You want to actually paint the things that are furthest away and then move forward to the things that are closest. So I, I would say background, then the middle ground, then the foreground. That's the way you're, that, that's a good way to paint, especially with landscapes, especially if you're looking for coverage fast. Um, yeah, again, you need to detach yourself from what you're painting. So when I look at the sky, you know, I don't see it necessarily at the starting stages as a sky. I see it just as big patches of blue and big patches of grey that I need to put on. Almost like you're painting a wall. You detach every object here you want to detach from at this stage. So when all the colours are on, then you can actually get on the you know, throwing a bit of life on the, what you're actually doing. I think the coverage here and killing the white is the, the main aim at this stage. So I've mixed both here. I'm just going to put a bit of this on this wee marker. Uh, obviously, if we compare it up to here, it's very close. That's it. We can run with that. So I'll get all the blues down first, and then I'll put the clouds on. So the blue is furthest away. So very, very quickly. So that's where I see the blues. Now next stage here is the clouds. And how I see the clouds are the clouds could be seen as white, but they're never white. Nothing's white um, in painting really. It's a, it's um white is so high. If you go if you go straight on there with white, you can't go any higher in tone. You can't get any lighter than white, so you're best to start very very just off white so what i'm doing and we'll go back to our last lesson where we mixed our blacks warm blacks cold blacks and warm grays and cold grays we're going to mix a cold gray here and get that on for the clouds and we'll work up the white then we'll work up to the white so if i get a bit of sienna and i get a little bit of dark blue And a lot of white. What we're really going to do here is, is we're looking to mix up a very, very cold grey. And you can see already that this here, uh, colour here, it's like a, a coldish grey. This will be okay to start with so we'll get the sun just for the clouds here so i'm just putting the sun here where the clouds will be and we'll go here and we might get a wee bit lighter and again Uh, 
and uh, you can see already we just got a sky just suggested on you can come on with even lighter white now this is where you can use white on top of this gray so you're not going overboard uh, we'll throw on some nice lights here and remember that you can use artistic license some of these clouds you can take out and you can put back on again so we've got the sky done now we'll move down here to the castle this becomes very very important again is we really look at that castle one side of it is a darkish blue that's the cold gray and one side of it is a warm gray so again we can use a nice cold gray so this side which isn't picking up any light and we'll use our warm grey for this side. So if I uh, mix the blue and the sienna and I go a little heavier in, on the blue than the sienna, I'll get this nice cold grey. So we'll just put that on there. And as you can see, this is a nice cold grey. So now a warm grey. What we'll do here now is we'll add a wee bit more of the warmer colour and we should get a nice warm grey for the castle. And what we are doing is we're, we're, we're just looking at each section very, very abstractly you know you're, you're just putting on blocks of color and that's it we're not looking at detail we're looking to block and color that's it so the next section we might move over to is the mountain actually in the background we must there we might actually get some analyze it it seems like a very very dark blue grayish blue so we're back on again to the Sienna and blue. Sienna and blue seem to do absolutely everything. They really do. So we're on here now and we're getting the mountain on. And the mountain again is this nice uh, dark blue. Some of this dark blue actually in the castle and we'll take it down to here. So that's the mountain then. Now I think that mountain could go a wee bit blue, but bluer. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll add a wee tiny bit of blue under the mountain and make it a tiny bit bluer as if it's picking up some of the blue from the sky. So the mountain now is a wee bit bluer there. Now again we move down, we look at the corner there. That corner there it's a very 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 dark green it's almost like a black green so how do we mix our dark green well if you remember from the the, the last the former's uh, section on the uh, color dark green is basically just your dark blue which is the purple blue and your dark yellow which is the orange yellow both these colors have very little green in them so if i get some of this yellow and I get some of this dark blue. And I'll give the brush here a wee bit of a clean. And the brush is clean. We're on and we'll mix this. And as you can see straight away, look at how dark this green is. Now it's, it's very, very dark green. So dark blue, dark yellow, dark green. We'll get this whole section on here now in the corner. So again. We're painting this on, section, and this isn't a uh, this isn't a bush to me. It's it's actually just a section of paint. It's it's just a section here of a tone, which I just put on, just layer it on. I'm not worried at all 
about the end result yet. This is about killing the white. I have to stress this. This is where you have to detach. And if you can detach for a while, then you're 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 there. You know, the, all this the detail, everything else comes on last. So again, we move over here. This green seems to continue right over. And we get some of this nice green on here. And we'll get some of the green on this wee bush here. And I can see from this, it's, although it's hard to pick up here, it is lighter here. It's a lighter green here. So what we might do is we might get a tad of yellow. And we'll just come on with the yellow. And we'll just lighten that up slightly. So if I grab this and we'll, you can just see that lightening up slightly. We might even lighten up some of that as well. So we've just lightened up this wee section here. Uh, we move down now and we've got this section they paint on. This section is like a lime green. Now what I would do here is I would see this section maybe as it doesn't fall very dark green in the dark green stage and it doesn't fall in the very bright green stage. It's like a lime green. So what I might do is I might get a nice yellow again which has got loads of green on it. This is lemon yellow. This is the green yellow. It's got loads of green on it. But then what I might do is get some of this blue, which hasn't got any green on it really. It's just purple blue. It's dark. And throw a wee bit of this under the yellow. If you can remember, uh, yellow and blue uh, make green. We've only got two yellows and two blues. So there we go, and again, if I just compare these colours here, I'm just going to do it here, and we look up, this is bang on, so we're going to run with this, again, like paint the wall, you're not worried about it, you're trying to just get this white killed off, so we go straight on with it here, and what you are doing here is you're building up the beginning of a great painting. So we look here now, we've got the green on. We'll move down here now. This whole section here seems orange. Orange, it's like, it's almost like an orange grey, so why not make up a nice warm grey and add maybe a tad of uh, a tad of orange on it and see how you go. So what I'll do here is I'll get some uh, warm grey mixed up here. And how do we mix our warm grey again? Burnt sienna and the dark blue. That's really these, this and the dark blue seem to do everything. If you want it warmer, you're going to add more of this warm burnt sienna in it. So, so what I'm doing here is getting a bit of this um, in the corner. If you can remember how to mix the orange, red and yellow mix orange. We get so a tiny tad of orange in the corner here. Um, we'll mix this orange up here. You can see already, look at, look at how bright this orange is here. It's very, very bright. So we might be able to throw this orange into this mix of grey that we have. Look, it's a warm grey down there in the corner. We'll throw our orange under it. And again, if we just compare here, and we look up, that's pretty close again. So we'll run with this again here. We'll get this entire section on. And the wee fence here, we're going to just fire it on. It's a tad lighter than the background, so we'll get this on the wee fence with a bit more white on it. So 
That's the Phantom. We'll go down to this wee section here. It seems they have a bit of darkness creeping on it. So again, we'll give the brush a clean here. And now these brushes, especially at the end, the wee trick is, is you, you get the majority of the paint off. This is for the end when you're cleaning the brushes. Clean them in white spirits first and then under the soapy water and make sure to rub them in your hand until there's no paint there at all. It's very, very important, especially if you're using quick dry. Wash them brushes twice on the white spirits on the soapy water. So we're, we're down here at this section here. Well, we might run them with a bit of shadow here. So we'll come on here with a nice dark shadow and maybe run it just where I see it up here. And that nice dark shadow we might introduce on the wee areas of the fence just to give the fence a bit of to make the fence stand out a bit. So again, take some of that grass down there. At this stage though, we are not too concerned about uh, trying to get everything 100% right. We're, we're more concerned about just getting the color uh, on. So we'll grab some of that lime and we'll get some of the lime down on there. And what this will do is it'll make the fence appear like it's just coming forward about then the fence. Uh, we'll get some of this So we've got a fence suggested on here now. Uh, there's all wee bits of lights and darks on here that we can just put on. And uh, what I'm going to suggest you do is you just, uh, again, be very abstract about this. Uh, throw in your darks where you see your darks, you know. So there's darks on there. There seems to be uh, wee bits and pieces of darks. We'll just throw on a couple of wee some pieces of light and then we're going to move down here now to the water we'll throw on actually a couple more wee bits here uh, down on here just to And we'll go to the water here. The water is the water is a it's it's basically just a dark grey blue. That's it really. So we look up here and it's a lighter grey. And it comes down and it's lighter here, and then it goes to blue, but it goes on the darkness. So we'll just go up to here and we'll get this nice light colour of the water. And as we move down, the water definitely is lighter here and then the water then seems to come down on the blue we're going to get some blue here now what darkens blue orange orange darkens blue another great color to darken the blue is just the sienna the burnt sienna is a dull orange anyway so we're going to use a wee tad of sienna and what sienna will do well it'll just darken the the, the blue and if we get our wee tab here again we're going to see that this this here dark here it's probably a lot too dark we'll just go right on with more blue on top of it that's probably closer so we're on with this now and we're going to get some of this here on and we're going to go actually over some of our grass and reinstate the grass then. So we've got this nice blue here now. I'll take it down and the grass, again, you look at the darks first. The grass is a very, very dark, dark green, a muddied green. So again, we'll go under the dark green. How do we mix dark green? 
Well, green is yellow and blue. We mixed our dark green, if you can remember, with the dark blue and the dark yellow. So the clues and the shade, dark blue, dark yellow. And uh, we'll get some oil here. And straight on with the dark. And we're going to get this on now. Now this is where something I forgot to mention here was edges. Now anything sharp contrasts comes forward. Anything soft and more blended will go back. So what we're doing here is we're making some sharp edges now at our foreground using our nice dark green. Some of it, reiterate some of it there. Everybody, just actually just come on here with a smaller brush here and some of the wee details, like on the top of the castle here. You know, we are going to just go on wee bits and pieces here. But to detail, you're free to they, they actually put on these wee bits and pieces then. Uh, once you've got the colour mapped out, so I'm just throwing on wee bits with degrees of separation here. We are, and you can see already that uh, from this, we'll just hold it up here, that uh, we've got the start of a really, really uh, decent wee start day of painting here. Um, the more you want to work this up, it's just up to you. Uh, this is where. Uh, you really do, you really do need to, uh, you, do, you, you do want to actually uh, take your time and just once you've got the coverage, just enjoy the process. You're not going for, you're not going for photorealism. You don't want that. I, I, I particularly am not under photorealism because uh, you, you want to lose yourself in the process. Now, once you've got, this is the hard but this is getting everything on. The rest should be enjoyable. And just enjoy your happy mistakes and keep, like I say, to your colours. Just keep everything separate, and uh, you'll you'll actually come out with a, a a pretty decent painting. Like I say, the minute I uh, start working this up again and adding on, maybe just going about bluer here and and adding on these, you can see already they did the thing just comes alive. So really enjoy the process and remember this here is that that uh, your values that's uh, comparing. You know, getting your values right, getting your colours, even 70% right is enough. And uh, you'll have a great time with it. So I hope this has been helpful, this wee series. It's only a small but, but at the same time, if it's up to you now to take some of the wee things that you've learned here and actually delve under them and learn about them yourself because there's no education is better than self-education. So... If I've mentioned uh, value, for instance, go on to it deeper, read a, read a book on it, watch a video on YouTube on it. The same with colour, the same with ages even. Uh, I never got a chance to really go on depth about ages, but they're very, very important. So ages, value, colour, texture, the thicker the paint, the, 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 the more it'll come forward, the thinner, the further it'll go back. Really look on it, and I hope this has been useful to you, this wee, uh, this wee mini series and uh have give it a go yourself and what we'll do is we'll actually send a few e images over um link them and you sample images that you can try out for yourself and if you need any help at all uh a wee email or a message and i'll get straight back to you thanks very much